J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Johnny Green and his orchestra. The orchestra opens the program with Everything Stops for Tea. <laughs> showers bring May flowers, lovely, fragrant, and colorful. And so next month, the flowers of May will be with us, bringing the same bright, good cheer to gardens and hillsides that Jell-O brings to your dining room table. Only you don't have to wait for any particular season of the year to revel in Jell-O's glowing colors and Jell-O's real fruit flavors. Its deep, mellow goodness is always yours to enjoy. No other gelatin dessert has Jell-O's extra-rich fruit flavor. It's put there by a special secret process. You'll find that luscious, real fruit taste in all six Jell-O flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. So if you want the best, always order Jell-O by a name. Always insist on the one and only genuine Jell-O. our weekly boogeyman, Jack Benny. That was, uh, that was Johnny Green and his gentleman playing Swing Mr. Charlie. And very well done, Johnny. Really, I don't know what this program would do without you. Neither do I. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny, but no kidding. I think you're swell, really. Oh, would you mind saying that just a little louder, Jack? You know, my mother is listening in. Oh, of course, Johnny. I'll be glad to. Is your mother hard of hearing? No, but the radio is next door. <laughs> oh, well, summer will soon be here. You can open the windows. <laughs> hey, uh, Jack, a telegram just came for you. A telegram? Oh, yeah, read it, Don. All right, here it is. It says, uh, Jack Benny, care of J-E-L-L-O. Mm, dear too. Mr. Benny. <clears throat> now, give me that wire. All right. Mm. Uh, dear Mr. Benny, my husband and I both think you are a splendid example of American manhood. And we would like our son to grow up and be just like you. But he would rather have a bicycle. <laughs> hmm. Can you imagine that, Mary? What's more important, to be on this bri uh, program or have a bicycle? You can get places with a bicycle. Oh. <laughs> I nearly killed your answer there, didn't I? Uh -huh. uh, please, uh, please grant the request of a worried mother and tell the story of your life and background so I will know how to guide my boy through the ups and downs of life. Signed, Mrs. Otis Elevator. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's what I call real mother love, the desire to protect her child. Ah, Don, remember our childhood days together. Oh, I certainly do, Jack. And do you remember the old swimming hole? Which one? The one in your bathing suit. <laughs> well, anyway... Tonight, folks, we hearken to the plea of an anxious mother and present the story of my life, 39 years in all. Why, Jack, you're 42. I know, Don, but I'm not counting the three years I waited for someone to request this. Sing, Kenny. <laughs> Tropic moon covers land and sky. Cuban moon is smiling, never asking why. Let me hold you fast, darling. Love will last. Vows we made will not be broken. I know, Maria, my own, rest within my arms, Maria, my own, blessed with all your charm, you have smiled on me, never dreamed I'd be. 
with you constantly. You are mine, mine alone. Maria, my own, under Cuban skies, Maria, my own, I found paradise. It was a My own forever more. That was, um, Back to America, across a sea of tears, comes our hero, tired and disillusioned. But one day, while sitting in the park, he meets the girl who reshapes his career. Now, woe is me. Woe is me. Here I am alone in a bitter world, penniless and hungry. Oh, if only I could meet a friendly squirrel who would stake me to a nut. Ah, listen to the birdies. La, 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 and so forth. Ah, what a beautiful girl. Beg pardon, miss. Did you drop your dog? Oh, yes, thank you. Hmm. Such a cute little pup. Spitz? Yes, that's why I dropped him. <laughs> what are you doing in this big park all alone, miss? Oh, I just came here to feed the monkeys. Well, that's nice of you. Uh, what do you feed them, peanuts or popcorn? I just give them a nickel and let them buy what they want. <laughs> Gee, I wish someone would give me a nickel. I can't remember the last time I ate. Poor thing. You should tie a string around your finger. Hmm. What's your name? Jack Benny. But you can call me Jack. What's yours? Mary Livingston, but you can call me anytime. <laughs> would that I could. But you wouldn't want a failure like me. Gosh, I'm so discouraged. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? I'm discouraged, too. <laughs> What have you got to be discouraged about? You're so young and so beautiful. I know. But who? Years to write a... Forget the last... I'm a failure, too. Years to write a poem, but I can never get the last line. It's so aggravating. Maybe I could help you out. Would that you could. Would that you could. Could that I would. <laughs> Should that you could. All right, let's hear it. Labor Day. Oh, Labor Day. You come each year, remember? No other month has Labor Day, except... Uh, Except, uh... September. That's it. Gee, that's wonderful. Let's get married. No. No, no, I haven't a penny to my name, and we can't live on poetry. Why not? The paper gets stuck in my teeth. <laughs> but you have inspired me. You have given me the will to carry on. We'll succeed and conquer the world. Hooray. <laughs> I'll come back, Miss Livingston, and marry you. Gee, that's funny. Why? You're going to... Jack Benny marches on. <laughs> Away he went. London, Paris, Budapest, New York, New Haven, and Hartford. Get off, you bum! Don't push. And then came the war. Hardship, struggle, struggle, boots, boots. What are we fighting for? It's the zero war. Men going over the top. Blood, muck, mire. They got Meyer. Hiding, and while the shells screech and the bombs burst, where is our hero? <laughs> then came the world's fair in Chicago. Peanuts, popcorn, Cracker Jack, and lemonade. Then came the Black Bottom, the burning of Rome, and Schlepperman. Hello, Enza. In the crash of 1929. More margin, more margin. Yellow with its six delicious flavors. Broadway, 1936, then came... 